in today's video stop 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 in today's video stop, let's please. ah who is it who is disturbing today why don't you show up you're the one who is disturbing yeah who are you what's your problem my name is spider man with love people call me k spidey are there people loving you as well yes anyway what does k stand for k stands for king actually oh, what a joke people call you the king yes anyway now that you are here using you i would like to explain a concept the concept of swapping would you like to know what swapping really is this is called swapping swapping in other words means exchanging on swapping there are a host of technical interview questions that would be asked it could be on how to swap two numbers how to swap three numbers how to swap four numbers how to swap using the addition and subtraction operators how to swap using the multiplication and the division operators how to swap using bitwise operators how to swap using a single statement how to swap the odd and the even bits how to swap the nibbles in a byte how to swap the bytes in a word a host of such questions and a lot more would be there in the technical interviews for a job aspirant and this series is going to make you completely confident about all swapping techniques however for the time being i didn't understand as to why you came but i have a lot of issues with you i will interact with you moving forward leave okay sorry if i have disturbed you let me vanish myself ah another gimmick anyway Let's begin our concepts for today. Let me begin by explaining to you the simplest possible swap logic. I would consider a variable a with a value 10 and another variable b with a value 6. I would like to swap them. For that, I would be making use of a third variable called temp. And how do I swap? Simple. Whatever is there in the variable A, I'll send it to temp. That is the code for achieving this. Whatever is there in B, I give it to A. Well, that is the code for that. And then, whatever is there in temp, I give it to B. There's the code. So, this is the simplest logic to swap two numbers. Of course, before swapping, I would like to print the original values. After swapping as well, I would like to print in order to check if really the values are swapped. And if the program has to work, I have to create the variables. So I am creating the variables required. All of this, I will be enclosing it within the main and the main is enclosed within the class. And when I'll execute, this is the output. It goes to show that this is the simplest possible logic for swapping. However, I should say this to you that in the companies for a job aspirant what normally would be asked is to swap without using the third variable which means i have to swap without using this temp variable how can we achieve it well i'll tell you watch my next video